Today on Tanaka Homestead, I want to give you an update on Earth Grow versus Black Cow Compost. Previously, I did a video on Black Cow versus Earth Grow Compost. I went through, did a side-by-side -side comparison, cut the bags open, let you see firsthand the differences and whatnot. At the very end of the video, I laid both compost out in a raised garden bed. And actually that day, you didn't see it, but I planted okra. Let me show you the update. So look at this. On the left, the left front raised garden bed, that is earth grow. And on the right side, we have black cow. Couple of things right off the bat that I want to tell you. Look here. Here's my earth grow. Here's my black cow. First things first. I don't know if you remember, but Earth Grow had cow manure, uh, grass clippings, etc. But it said it had some organic material in it. But look at all the grass that grew here. I mean, this is crazy. I mean, it's it's definitely something to note. You're gonna grow more more grass and and weeds here with Earth Grow. At least that's what it appears. Now look over here at the black cow. I didn't pull any of this, okay? Look, one, two, three, four, five, six. Minimal, okay? That's pretty impressive. So you're probably gonna do more weed pulling with the earth grow. I kept it like that just so I can show you. Second thing that's pretty obvious is the size. I planted the okra seeds in both of these garden beds at the same exact time. Look at the size difference. Here's Earth Grow, and here is Black Cow. I mean, the plant is fuller, it's taller. This is amazing. This is a huge difference. Now, I'm not necessarily saying Earth Grow is bad, but these were under the same exact conditions with the exception of compost. They received the same amount of water, same okra seeds, and look, I mean, you can't even, this is amazing. Here's another comparison side by side. In the front, I have the earth grow, remember, all the grass, and then right behind it is the black cow. Look at this. Look at the difference. The plants are fuller, they're taller, they just seem to be healthier. Here, you can see some of the, you know, it's starting to, to do its thing. But look over here. These puppies are ready to go. It's already starting to grow some little okra. Look at that. So I have to tell you, I, I just wanted to show you the big thing. Remember, Earth Grow is a lot cheaper. And I'm not saying it's a bad compost by any means. But man, when you compare the two, the size of the plant, I mean, it really makes you wonder, do you want to spend that extra amount of money and get black cow? I have to tell you, I'm overall pretty impressed with black cow. I tend to use that. Somebody did note in the comments, um, you know, as far as the cows and what they're fed and all that, and if they're fed chemicals, I, I don't know the answer to that. Um, I don't know if, you know, black cows, you know, that company, what they feed their cows, you know, I just know it says organic on there and it's worked well for me. Um, but definitely do what works for you. And another safe thing you could always do if you want compost and you want to know where it's coming from is make your own compost, which I certainly do, but I don't have enough to spread around the whole entire garden. I would need multiple uh, tumblers to do that, but I absolutely do make my own compost also. And I think that that works well. And for some people, they feel better about that, you know, because they know what they're putting in and then they can use that for their garden. All right, so that's about it. If you haven't checked out that Earth Grow versus Black Cow comparison video, you may want to do that. I really do. I go over the similarities and the differences. I mean, I thought it was kind of informative and I learned some information myself. Uh, but definitely check that out if you can. And if you haven't already, please click that subscribe button and happy gardening. Bye-bye.